The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I actually own an art gallery. It's one of my passions. I'm not going to give it a plug now, but you can put in class, go maybe you'll find it. Anyways, one of the artists that I collected, his name was Rafaeli, Svi Rafaeli. He was an artist. He lived in Florida and California and Israel and New York. Fought for the Irgun, was a professor at the Pizal University. And he passed away quite a while ago. He was a religious Jew. He was a rabbi, actually, as well. Very interesting person. And once I got a call from someone in California, somebody that I dealt with in art, and he said, Rabbi, I have something interesting, and I just would like to give it to you. He said, we were very good friends with Rafaeli, and he had made for us some stained glass windows. And, you know, we didn't know what to do with it. And we, for whatever reason, they were sitting in our backyard, I guess we figured... You know, they were glass and they'll be okay, but they ended up sinking into the ground. They just sunk in over 20 plus years. They just sunk deeper and deeper. Now you can just barely see the top of them from the ground. And, you know, they're, they're pretty ruined, but who knows? Maybe you could take them and fix them up. If you want them, they're yours. And I said, thank you, but no thanks. You know, I was collecting paintings, but not stained glass windows. I wouldn't even know what to do with them. Well, a while later, a few years later, I had moved from California. I was a rabbi at that time in UCLA, and then I moved to New York. But I went back to California to officiate a wedding, and I had a few ex- extra hours um, to spare when I arrived. And just out of curiosity, I called them up and I said, look, if you still have them, I'm just curious to see them, and I would take them. And they said, sure, go to our backyard and dig them up. And I hired a few local people that I found and we took some shovels and we began to dig and we we actually uncovered five Rafaeli stained glass windows and they were full of mud and dirt and worms and weeds and grass and didn't look like much. But these people had a garden hose and I took the garden hose and I spritzed it on the stained glass and as the mud and the weed and the dirt washed away and the sun shone through these stained glass windows. I saw that they were actually quite stunning. They were gorgeous. They were the Yom Tovim. Tovim. They were the Jewish holidays. And they were so beautiful. I told them I was grateful. I'm so happy to have them. And we took them back to New York and uh, cleaned them up, fixed them up. It wasn't that hard. And we created shadow boxes with light in the back. And uh, we proudly had them in our home. And someone sa- somebody said to me, Rabbi, Why did you even bother? Once you dug them up and there was mud and dirt and they looked pretty pretty bad at that point. Why did you even bother? And I said, I'll tell you why. Because at the bottom of each of these stained glass windows was the signature of Rafaeli. And that told me that they're worthwhile. And it 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 had me thinking that sometimes people have a little bit of mud on them, a little bit of dirt. They're not that savory and they're not the most pleasant person to be around. And they have things about them that uh, maybe are less attractive and a little bit annoying. But rather than reject them and leave them alone, understand that they're worthwhile. It's worth spritzing a little bit of water and a little bit of love because when we do, we realize that they too are signed. By Almighty God. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.